No trans woman in their right mind would have that beard on their face. So 100%. Also, you don't have to try to be trans. That's what he said. It was the first thing that came out yep. of that guy's mouth. Yep. To try to be trans. You blew it. This is actually a very important video. This says everything about the new movement. And we both left the left at different times. We're both LGBTS right. activists, yes. transsexual activists, very different than the TikToks we're about to react to. So this is a supposed trans parent that was walking around their house like completely nude to all their kids. That is so cool! Have your name on it! That's not from you, Nathan! From me and Andy. Oh, oh, that's so cool! A trans flag with her name on it or something. What the heck? Look, completely naked. What is happening? And, and they do have a neo-vagina. Not that that matters. <laughs> Either way, it's like wrong to just like walk naked in front of your kids like that. Ew, it's so creepy. Day. The reason I wanted to, you to react to this is because A, you're a trans guy, and B, you are a parent. <laughs> That's right, thank you. I find it, first off, disgusting. First off, I don't care if this person is trans or whatever the heck they are, but to take pictures of yourself nude in front of a bunch, how many kids are sitting there? There's Three. a bunch, three kids. <laughs> and, sitting, and one of them looks like they're maybe they, 10. Ew, she's like sitting on the couch, like with her- With her butthole on the couch. It's so, it's everything That bothers her. me more than anything, is that her butthole is like rubbing on the couches <laughs> like fibers you know the problem i have with this is this that's your personal business i don't agree with what's ever happening here but why is it on the internet this is damaging to the transgender community they already think we're a bunch of weirdo perverts now yep. they got kids attached to her doing stuff like that leave the kids alone because now it gives those people ammunition so now you put kids in a situation that looks very sexual whether it's not sexual or not doesn't I know, matter but it looks like it people out there in the trans community you better start realizing what you're posting and that they take it and they use it against us it's ridiculous oh this is a good one did you see this one oh, no I'm i can't scared. stand him i can't stand this guy turfs are not intelligent people <laughs> I you're a turf i'm a turf right <laughs> and you know i used to have this obsession you got to be nice but truly if someone is caught up in this Facebook algorithm world where trans people are replacing women, where trans people are the height of the evilness in the world. I, I don't see anyone saying that trans people are evil, by the nope. way. Not one person, nope. not even people on the far, far right. right. Nobody is saying nope. that. They're like, oh, they need God. Maybe they'll say something like that. Something like but that. But nobody has ever said trans nope. people are evil. Trans people, trans women are taking up women's spaces. So that's actually accurate. That is not an intelligent person. And if someone thinks that the best way to push forward women's rights is to treat trans people the way that the patriarchy has traditionally treated women, that's not anywhere close to an intelligent or logical thought. Dude, this because... is a dude saying this about women, first off. That's no disrespect to Jeffrey, who I've seen forever. This dude's been around forever. He was a gay man forever, and then he became non-binary. And now, all of a sudden, he's trans. Don't you all see what this guy is doing? He literally is a grifter, and he's using the trans community to make money off of all of us. That's what he's doing. And also, he's the hugest misogynist of them all. On some level, like, have this aura about him that's very much like here's the cherry and there, he has a young following his energy is giving uh Ugh. old man in uh, an ice cream in a, in a, in a truck that's in labeled ice window cream windows. that's labeled ice cream before i get any more into this video i want to take a second to thank today's sponsor scentbird scentbird is a subscription service that lets you try out new designer fragrances every single month gucci prada versace are just a few out of the 600 that you could choose from so if you are masculine or feminine male or female you can pick whatever ones work best with your body chemistry each fragrance has a 30-day supply, so you can test them out before committing to buying a $500 bottle. Or if you're like me and you go between New York and Florida or constantly traveling, or just want to change it up every other week or every month, you can keep on with, with the samples. This one is my favorite. It is called Ready for Rosé. And I think the reason I love it so much is because it says prolonged summer with this, sedu with this seductive scent. And it even tells you like what it has in the back. 
tells you what's in it, which is pretty cool. Use the coupon code on screen for 55% off, which is as little as $7 for your first month. It is available in the US and Canada. Thank you, Scentbird, for supporting freedom of speech and freedom of scent and expression. If you want to go and check them out, I'll have the link in the description below. So apparently a coworker asked, why is he trying to be a girl which first of all says that i pass as a guy baseline which is perfect and secondly says that i'm cute as hell <laughs> why are they dressed like a raccoon batman punk rocker punk rocker with 17 nose rings <laughs> and who's probably culturally appropriating some <laughs> some indian some Indian heritage with that with that thing that Indian people do. Like, I think this is a trans guy that claims that they're non-binary, like, which I guess means that maybe what? they're on, maybe they're a female that transitioned to, transitioned to male. Yeah, but think, still presents feminine-ish. That's right. I was in the piercing body modification scene for years. My ex was like the top body piercer. I saw all these people mm -hmm. around, their attention getting. Right there, that person's face, you need attention. I yep. know I was around that scene, I needed attention. I did the same thing. Did you? you know? <laughs> yeah. But like these people are so desperate to be trans. Yes. A lot of them, that, that, that they'll just claim any identity possible. Right. Okay, so this person used used AI or a TikTok filter or something to like cartoonify themselves. TikTok kept misgendering them. <laughs> and it is the funniest. I actually have respect for this person because it's funny. Yeah. And she, I, hopefully, I'm assuming it's a trans woman. I it's funny so. because she's making fun of the fact like that she's getting misgendered. Like to me, that's funny. Like every time though, it like makes her a dude. <laughs> so good. No way. No way. <laughs> And she's like, let me fix my hair, that'll change it. No, it is funny. She's great. She's actually great. I think, well, I think it's hilarious. Woman. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Okay, let's try again. At <laughs> all different angles. Yeah, it's bone structure. Totally. Oh my god, it's funny. Like, to me, it's just funny. It's, it's relatable. Like, I have, like, a little bit of a mustache. Like, I talk about it. Like, it's... <laughs> funny like so many people have these you know it's funny of course. oh I've my done god it for years how do you think people i build bridges with people yeah i make them laugh we laugh about me right yes a man with a vagina yeah it's hilarious and then it breaks down all the walls queer activist who says that there's no such thing as parental rights in schools so i want you to and, and you're a parent uh i'm a parent okay and now you're with, can we talk about fostering kids or we're not yeah, gonna talk gonna, okay gonna so you're gonna kids. you're gonna be a foster parent as well mm -hmm. so let me see what you have to say about this thing is parental rights there's no such thing as parental rights. Children's rights, however, are recognized and have been for a very long time. Parents have responsibility, which is recognized in the law, but no rights. The reason parents have rights is because they're responsible. That's right. Okay. I have one. You can't have one without the other. That's right. I'm 100 percent responsible for what goes in my child's brain, 100%. how he shows up for school every day, what he eats for lunch. I'm responsible for that. And how could you be responsible for that without having the rights to enact such things? That on is a scary statement. That, that wild. Said. That is a very like. This is a communist. Uh, this is a literal. Clearly, this is a literal communist clearly. statement saying that your kids belong to the government. That's your kids right. belong to society. That's right. They don't belong to you. That's right. Tell you something about them, that's your problem. Not the government's, not the school system's. Maybe you should ask yourself why your child might not want to tell you whatever it is you're... Okay, stop. I'm going to tell you something right now. My child tells me everything. You want to know why my child tells me everything? Because I sat my child down and I said, you can never do anything wrong as long as you are honest to me. And as long as you never lie, never steal, and never cheat. And you know what? My kid never lies, never steals, and never cheats. And he can come home and he can tell me things that happened at school and we can work it out. So that guy right there is completely insane. When you start telling your kids to keep lies from the parents, let's talk about transing in schools and don't tell the parents that you're transitioning school what do you actually think you're going to accomplish from that you are teaching children bad behavior as a parent i will never let that happen five oh. signs you might be gender fluid what number one you have tried to be trans <laughs> there are some days that you just wow aren't and you know you're not cis
Yeah. You like you see how he said oh that? Gosh. Like, I know I'm not also, gay. You have to I decide. know I'm not sick. Like, why? Why is that a bad thing? If you've ever tracked your gender fluctuations to try to get sense of this whole thing, man, <laughs> tracking your gender like clears everything up. Number three, you taught yourself to tuck or pack or tried on some fake boobs, and it felt so right that you cried so much that you didn't want to take them off. But then the next day, they didn't feel like anything at all. That's called fetish dressing. Cross dressing fetish. That's a transvestite. <laughs> yeah, You're yeah. a transvestite, dude. It's okay. That's okay. Knock it off. Like just be a transvestite. Transvestite. You know how you can tell too? The beard. No trans woman in their right mind would have that beard on their face. These guys are either AGP, they're cross-dressers, they're mm -hmm. transvestite, and they're encroaching in on my territory. Yep. This is not a trans person. This is a cross-dresser. Come on, people. We need to get it together here. These are separate entities. When you have to try to be trans, you're not. That's why we get so angry when people are teaching what transgenderism and what sexual orientation is to kids when they're five years old. When you are trans or when you have gender dysphoria or when you're same-sex attracted, you know at an early age, yes, that is true. You don't need to be told it though. Wow. You just know, you don't have to be, you don't have to try yeah. to be trans. Like you just are. China and Russia, they're all laughing, are la at, us. They're all laughing at us. We're done. It's ridiculous. This country is a total dump now because of stuff like this. And I'm sorry about the L the trans, it's not necessarily the LGB. I would say it's more the trans and the queer agenda. There is an mm. agenda there. I, and as a transsexual, I'm telling you, I see it. So where can people find you? Because you make videos as well now, thank God. Thank the Lord. I've been telling you for forever to make videos. Have, and you were, you were just on Instagram and Twitter. And I'm like, Buck, you need to make videos. I'm, like, I'm going to put his link in the description for you guys know. to follow him. And if you are not subscribed to both of our channels, do so now. Go and check out Scentbird. And make sure you support companies that support morals and standards that you also abide by. Until then, keep calling out the bullshit. Bye.